distance wedges. What problems do you have with less than full shots with your wedges? Um, standing over it going, I really don't know if this is the right club or the right shot, and that's where the doubt comes in, and we, we hit some skulls. So, you've got your pitching wedge. Um, you're going to like this because the first thing is it's a very narrow stance pitch, which you oh, yeah. kind of traditionally have. So, if we're going straight towards the, the red flag. You're going to want a center ball position, and you can get it as close as you want. I've seen people who literally touch their heels. So you can get it as close as you want with the stance, and that's essentially going to calm down your whole body. This is going to be more about matching the speed of the arms and the club and the torso than any hips or legs. You don't really want those big muscles involved. So ball position, pretty easy. There's only one ball position. There's just middle here. We can't can't get too crazy. We'll fall over. Um, the first one we're going to do. Just, just to get you started, is a little, you imagine the clock here, 12 o'clock straight up there, 6 o'clock straight down. We're going to want to get your left arm to about 730, but should get us to about parallel here. And just hit shots with that kind of finished backswing. We don't care how far they go. Mine may go farther than yours. Yours may go farther than mine. doesn't really matter. So I just want you to hit four or five shots with that idea and let me know when you feel comfortable with it. <laughs> 